Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. In this, in this one we're going to go through a basic um, freighter base build and layout video. Now the first things first, you're going to want to come to the um, upgrade part just here. So we're going to want to go into base and parts right here. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and unlock all of the base parts that we have available. Most of them only cost one, which is actually real nice. Now, of course, uh, the previous videos, we already have all of the mods for this, and we already have all of the uh, f salvaged frigate modules that we need, so this should not be an issue. I'm going to get the rest of them now. Okay, then, so with everything unlocked, I feel like I should warn you, this is not necessarily going to be about making this the prettiest thing, but it is a layout that I like, because when it comes to being in my freighter, I do like to have it um, be fairly close together and accessible. I don't want to be like... Um, walking around all over the place, spending a long time getting to things and looking around, okay? Now when you're placing these, just bear in mind you can see that these are um, facing in certain directions and you can flip them around to kind of go in all sorts of little directions that you want them to be in. Um, I've just expanded this out even though I know I'm going to put different things over here. I don't really know why I did that. So I like to have my um, teleporter on this side kind of facing into the corner there. And for that, we're going to need antimatter and an amino chamber look. So making antimatter shouldn't really be a problem for you. This is obviously going to be our first little gap here I'm going to have to fill. We'll get some of that. And the amino chamber, I actually like to just go and buy from pilots. So I'm actually going to have to nip to a space station now. <laughs> amino chambers, we'll grab some of those. I'm grabbing five of everything that's yellow because I know there are going to be a ton of different Materials it's going to want us to use, so just make sure you're topped up. Grab a load of uh, wiring looms as well while you're at it, because chopping list for this can be endless. Means this space can be huge. Back to the ship we go. Okay, and so we are back aboard, and now we can go ahead and place the teleporter. Where are we? I always get disoriented when I get dropped off. Here we are. I've placed my tiny amount of rooms. Now I want my teleporter. Don't worry about the power thing. Um, it always says like it does like a power drain. I haven't noticed any amount of change when that happens. So in addition then, this side, I'd like to have my trading room. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to take that off. I'll actually put that there. Uh, again, you can, swip, you can switch around the, uh, the middle thing. I like to have it facing me. I guess you can do whatever you want. This thing follows you around anyway. Look at it, kind of a weird eye. It's a bit strange, it's going to watch you every time you walk on in. Maybe you'll want to put that somewhere else, but that's just where I put mine. And then I like to have my scanner room right here, because it looks kind of cool. You can turn it around if you want, it doesn't make too much difference. Is there a panel on it? There's no panel on it. So, nice little table as we walk in. I think it looks pretty nice and cool. Um, and then what I like to do is have some spare space either side of this because I'm actually going to put doors here, which are going to lead to different areas. So I'm going to put those bulkheads in now, just to remind myself that that's what I'm going to do. Next up then, I want to place some... Where are they? These fleet command rooms. These are what allow us to send frigates out. We will do a video on that later on. Um, it's up to you, kind of how you like to place these. I like to do them as you're seeing here. And you can see the resources on the right-hand side there. You're going to need tritium, silver, and gold for this. Um, it's sold by pilots, so you can pick that up pretty easily. I'm going to have an extra screen there. The reason you want five, that is the most amount of missions that you can send out once. At the beginning, it may not necessarily be um, essential for you to have that many. And because I think it mirrors well, I like to have the construction screen here. We're going to hire a GEC for this later on. So, um, yep, that's just how that's going to be. And then we're going to go ahead and just flatten out the middle. So the reason I like to have it like this is because this is all uh, stuff that you're going to want to interact with fairly regularly. Like when you first warp into a system with this, you can press this. This is going to identify all other planets around you. That's real handy. Um, boom, look at that. We can upload that we just found a load of planets real quick. Nice and swish. we now got a trade terminal. We've got our teleporter. I just feel like all of this, nice and local. If you want to interact with your um, frigate expeditions, that's all good. And this guy, when we get him eventually, is going to give us missions, which are relative to other NPCs. So that's all cool. So we've got three different things that we want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a corridor on this side, because I like it. You can do a glass one now, I think. Yeah, you can have a glass one. Have some glass. 
probably looks a bit nicer actually. Let's do that. I'm going to have a corridor this side, and I haven't placed the door for it yet, but I'm actually going to have a corridor on this side as well. I don't have enough glass, so I'm just going to put a normal one in until I get more glass. Let's put a door in on that because it looks nicer. So this one's actually going to hide all of my sins. So one of the buildings that you'll notice that we have here is the storage. Where are we? Storage. And these all are numbered. Okay. Um, they are accessible from anywhere and you're going to need 10. So I find they look a little bit ugly. So I'm literally going to build down to the end, put all 10 of them in a line and leave them down there because you'll be able to activate them from your actual um, freighter menu here. So there's no need to directly interact with those. So in any case, the next thing then, we're going to go for the industrial room here. So I like to put this on its own because the floor is lower. So if I grab one of any one of these rooms here, but just the industrial room, if I put it, if I show it like next to one of these rooms, you'll see it makes like an ugly doorway and it steps down a level. So it doesn't marry up with this room very well. So we're going to stick that over on its own. So we're going to have one piece of industrial flooring right here. And then I like to have at the moment anyway, and people will probably change this to suit themselves a little better. I like to have the extractor along the left hand side. I like it to face me. Not, you don't want it that way, you want it this way. This is going to give you some free resources. Um, in general, it's going to mine copper for you, which is key because this is going to give you copper, which you can turn into chromatic metal. And when we do the other side, that's going to give us carbon whilst we're in space, which means we can just basically be naturally gathering antimatter, which is just kind of handy. Next thing then that I like to put in here is the Exocraft Materializer. We don't actually have too much use for this right now because we don't actually have the Exocraft built. So that means that the next thing after the freight base is going to be a ground base with a garage in it. And I need ionized cobalt of all things. Let's go and see if my little intergalactic shop is going to sell me any. We can make some out of cobalt, right? Let's go do that. Now one of the handy things we can do whilst we're up here is we can make ourselves a refiner. So let's go ahead and be doing that right now. And in all likelihood, you may end up wanting a lot of these or a few of these. Let's go with three for now. These are just basically going to be the same as the large refiners and there's not so much of a hard limit on these. You can put as many of these into your ship as you want. Let me just find my cobalt here. Okay then, so ionized cobalt is done. Now this one has a panel on it, so we are going to place it's cracked, and you can see it's got a panel on it, so I like that to face the front, face towards me, should I say. That's going to go like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put another industrial floor on this side. Uh, we're actually going to put another bulkhead door here, because we're going to put another uh, thing on the other side of that. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put my weapon dude in here. So where is it? It's not you, it's not you, it's not you. Technology room, no. Galactic construction. Okay, that'll just be a door for now. I assume that probably comes from the construction specialist when we do his missions. That means he's also probably going to give us the, uh, the technology one as well. So there's like another one that we hire a uh, Corvax for. Three hirelings from each of the three races, makes sense. Uh, so that's this side pretty much done. So that's our refinery. So you can expand this out as much as you want. That's kind of why I like having it like this. Because you, you don't need too many of these, but you will ha want quite a few refineries. So we're going to go with those on the right hand side. And because we haven't built out anywhere over this way, you can expand that as much as you want. Over on this side then is basically going to be the carbon room. It's usually the nicest looking room because it has plants in it. So we're going to come over to this side and I just want a new uh, we're on biological room first because it looks nice and I like to have these facing towards me to start with and then when I build out this way I like them to have facing alongwards like this because we can actually put in I don't think I have them available on this save yet. No we don't. We can actually put in like um bookshelf looking things that have carbon on as well because I find these a bit awkward to gather um, you can like just pick the room up and put it back down again because see that's going to give you carbon then it'll regenerate over time but there's like there's little bookshelf things you can put down that give you carbon as well and I just find that more convenient and looks kind of cool still so uh, moving on we're going to have the nutrition in the middle oh look we need some pure ferro let's go make some of that okay quick choppy trip and we have some pure ferro now we can build this you can decide which way around you want it to be. Do you want the fruit facing you? Do you want the side facing you? Do you want the... Apparently went to uh, face the... Uh... Oh, well, there's the cup. So it's up to you guys. I kind of like... Uh, kind of like the look of the fruit, I suppose. We'll do that. And then um, it's up to you guys, kind of what you want to fill these floors in with. These cultivation chambers on the ground, then. Um, these are what are going to allow you to grow plants in here, which can be useful. 
Um, particularly if you want to be farming up all of the different um, substances and stuff. This is going to be something that we end up looking at a bit later. So we have plain ones up here. We're going to put, put some extra carbon on. Then we have these ones so we can farm some plants. And then, much like in the last area, we're going to want... Or at least I'm going to put a bulkhead here. This is going to be for later when we get the technology expert. So the weapons expert, but that's all going to come from the construction overseer. And for that, we need to hire a Gek. But we'll do that as a separate video. So we've done the two sides then. We've got most of the buildings down, which is cool. So the last thing that I want to do, as we said earlier, is I'm going to go ahead and put all of my storage down at the bottom here. Uh, there's one more room that I haven't put in. Uh, but it's up to you guys if you want to put it in. And that is the... Um, what's it called? the customization thing because realistically I don't think it's going to be something that people do a lot so um, in my stream I actually put it exactly where I put the fifth and that's the end look so we want to come back here we want to delete this one and then we're going to come over to it's in the industrial ones I think storage here and you want one of each number so zero one two three, four, if, remember, and if you want this to be symmetrical, depends on how bothered you are about it, um, I actually did it this way on the stream again because symmetry matters to me. You may be the kind of person that just, you know, deletes this off and then you just don't see it. You can do that. Um, but to make this e to make this symmetrical then you have to kind of have two here because obviously you can't come into the middle of five and six, at four and five should I say, so you have to kind of have it like that way. And then continue on this way. Is that let me build that way? It is let me build that way. Huh. I guess I've done this a bit early, but it's, it's no problem. Um, so yeah, if you guys, you know, I'm sure there's some really creative people that can get really direct decorative with this. But for me, this is just fine. I'll stick a door on there. And now when it comes to my freighter, oops, when it comes to my freighter, we have lots of storage. You can even rename these if you want to. So, although where is the rename option? I know you can rename. Do you have to at the terminal? Yes. So you can rename them all if you want to, um, just to make things a little easier. The best thing about those storage is that if you build those same numbers in a ground base, that storage is shared. So that's real handy because I don't think you can access the actual storage tab from the ground. You can ac we can make it so that we can access the uh, storage of the freighter from the ground when we do some tech upgrades. We'll do that separately. But that is going to be a nice functional and basic layout for the freighter base. I don't know if this helps you out. It makes things real easy. Um, we'll go through frigates of why the screens are important later on. The resources aren't terribly hard to get, which is rather nice. We can do as much refining up here as we want to. You can expand this out if you really want to do loads of refining. What I recommend, make sure you don't warp whilst you're refining. This can be make things disappear out of the refiners, and that's not going to be ideal. Um, it can actually also do it to these as well. So if you want to collect this before you start uh, warping around, that's probably a good idea too. And that's going to close it out. That is the basics. Oh, let's put some more doors on here. Looks like that just looks a bit, looks a bit pants down. It's just better with a door on. Unfortunately, they don't have my colouring here as an option. I like black and yellow. So I'm just going to leave it as base for now. And yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.